Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. This video, we have every quarterback in the NFL battling it out in a battle royale in WWE. Each quarterback will come out one by one. The order is completely randomized. The rules are simple. To be eliminated, you have to be thrown out of the ring with both feet landing on the floor. Whichever quarterback is the last one standing wins the battle royale. Think of this as a crazy experiment to see who wins the Super Bowl this year. I made every single quarterback myself. A lot of them look ridiculously goofy. It's either based on like a photo I've seen of them in real life, something based on their team, or just something completely random because I made a lot of these at like 3 a.m. Took me like a month to make all of these guys, believe it or not. I put a lot of work into it, so it mean a lot if you liked this video, commented which guy was your favorite, who you rooting for, share with your friends, but I'm excited to see how this turns out. Let's get this match started. So I did say the order was completely randomized, except, except for our, our number, number one, one guy, guy the, the defending, defending Super Bowl, Super Bowl champion, champion, Mr. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. He has the most difficult draw because he has to defend his title coming in number one. But he is the highest overall at 99. So we'll see how far Mr. Patrick Mahomes can go. We already know he has some bad wide receivers, but this man is destined for the Hall of Fame. But is he destined to win the match tonight? And I'm sorry about some of the faces. They do turn out a little nightmare fuel. I tried to get some of the faces for some of the quarterbacks. I stopped halfway through because some of them were simply too terrifying to post on YouTube. So some are generic, but Mr. Patrick Holmes does have the little face scan over it, no matter how weird it looks. Now here's the question, who's coming in at number two to challenge Patrick first? Oh, the rookie, CJ Stroud. Yeah, he's got a, a big task to fight against Patrick here in the opening. Just Storm Zucconi? I, I guess they don't have Stroud in this game, so that, that's a nice substitute. He still believes, though. Are they booing him? Come on, give the rookie a shot. Anything is possible in this ring. Let's begin. And Stroud is going straight for the rope. Oh, I did not see that coming. I thought he was trying to run out of the ring. Oh my gosh, does CJ actually have the upper hand here against the defending champ? Nope, not for long, though. Yeah, Patrick's gonna fight back. He said, I got some bad receivers this year, but I'm still him. Oh, twirling him around. Body slams him. CJ's already getting low on his stamina bar. That's not too good. Oh my gosh, just showing the dominance. Disrespectful. Oh my, a kick to the spine. Oh my God, you can see the sweat flying everywhere after each punch. Yeah, CJ's already in trouble. He could get thrown out right here this early. He's begging for mercy. He punches his way back in. Is it unfair that Patrick has football pads, knee pads, and football cleats as well? Basically armor in the ring. Every so often these guys cycle in. So now we got three quarterbacks in the ring. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. You know, I completely forgot I put the pirate hat on him and like the little floaty. He looks absolutely ridiculous. It's meant to be silly though. Oh my, what are we doing here, Baker? Uh, what? He's, he's humping him in the corner. Should we have a sensor bar? Oh, he said not in my ring. Patrick's already got him in the corner. He's lining him up. Is this the end of Baker Mayfield? Just seconds after entering the ring. Oh, he's still in. Patrick used a lot of energy there. Punch to the gut and they keep switching targets. Well, another punch to the gut, they're stealing moves. And Patrick just goes for the dive and completely misses. I mean, in terms of talent level, Patrick Mahomes beats these guys by a mile. Let's see if he can get rid of them. But you never know in this ring. Oh, throws him on the rope. Oh, and a kick out of nowhere from CJ. A flurry of punches from CJ Stroud. And now he flings Patrick Mahomes to the ground. This is a stunning performance from CJ. Oh, I spoke too soon though. Is it the announcer Jinx? Got him in the sky. The cameraman really loves this one. He's getting a lot from the crowd. He slams him down. That one's got to hurt. Oh, I love the spiky pads there, Ryan Tannehill. You know, his model kind of looks like Tom Brady naturally. Is that Tom Brady in disguise? Is he pretending to be Ryan Tannehill? Ryan Tannehill enters with his red kicking boots on. Kind of reminds me of Ted Mosby with the red cowboy boots and how I met your mother. And he's already using them very effectively. Ryan Tannehill's taking a nap while everybody else is fighting. Oh my God, CJ took that personally. <laughs> oh, and clothesline by Patrick Mahomes. Hit him right in the shoulder pad too. It's like one guy gets taken out and then the next guy comes running in. He's got Ryan Tannehill in the corner. Could this be the first elimination of the day? He's trying. Yes, it is. Patrick Mahomes eliminates Ryan Tannehill. Baker Mayfield's gone too. CJ Stroud gets rid of him. 
Jordan Love just doing a standard walk-in. He's, he's got the football pads on as well, just in case. It's his first time as a starting quarterback in this league, so he wants to make sure he doesn't get hurt. The rookie's hanging in there longer than I anticipated, actually. Oh, but Patrick Mahomes has depleted CJ's energy bar completely. He is in trouble. And uh, Patrick says, get out of here, Jordan Love. He flings down Jordan Love, taking out half of his stamina bar in one throw. Oh, and he kicks CJ from the ground. He's kicking everybody. I don't know what this move is. Oh my goodness. Is Jordan Love going to do the impossible? He's, could he throw him out? No, he throws him in the air to keep him in the ring. Interesting choice there, son. Ooh, CJ's actually going to help him. Oh, Patrick is just going to watch this happen. <laughs> Weird move. And now he strikes. Flings down, Patrick. Body slam. <laughs> See, Jordan Love also has the cleats and football pads. It seems like an unnecessary advantage, but you know, in WWE, it doesn't matter. It's all for show and goofiness. Anthony Richardson time. The super athlete. The super athlete. I like the hair physics too, shaking that around. He looks really excited to be in this match. Got two rookies in here battling. Oh my gosh, punches. <laughs> Picking him up like a toddler and throwing him down. Man, CJ is fighting back ferociously against Patrick. He's got Patrick hurting already. You see his torso is in the red. Oh, double knee blast to the back. I don't know any names for these moves. I know nothing about wrestling, but I'm here for the entertainment. It's really been the battle between Patrick and CJ, but now CJ's in a dangerous spot. He's getting picked up by Patrick. Could this be the end of him? Patrick says no more of that. The rookie is out of here. Good fighting though, CJ. You did the best you could. Patrick is just on another level. He's able to recover from so much. He's even getting help from Anthony Richardson stepping into the fight and slamming down Jordan Love. He's going to be down for a while. Yep, he's going to take a breather. Oh my, Mac Jones. I guess the Patriots, he does kind of have like a colonial hat on. I gave him this entrance just because it had the extra sign in there. I don't know why. I think it's funny when they're holding things and that's probably the excuse for most things. It was just a little goofy. Oh, blindside tackle for Mac Jones. Oh my, he came in here angry. But Patrick is able to turn it around, gave him a headbutt. Looks like they're doing a little stretching together. Maybe a little combined yoga. And you know what? It's no longer kind yoga. They're punching each other. Oh my, oh, whoa! A surprise elimination. Jordan Love throws Patrick Mahomes out of the ring. That was not on my bingo card. And now Jordan Love might get himself eliminated. No, he's staying in. It's the rookie, Bryce Young. The first round pick from this last year's rookie draft. Look at him go. Let's see if the Rook's got anything for us. So the defending champion is no more. He definitely had the toughest road coming in first, but I did not expect him to go out this early. Anthony Richardson's flexing for the crowd. Oh my gosh, is Jordan Love gonna do it? Bryce Young is about to throw Mac Jones over. No, Anthony Richardson turns the tables on him. Jordan Love is out of here. Crazy. You eliminate a 99 overall and you get yourself eliminated seconds later. Anything can happen in this ring. What are we doing here? Spinning the wheel on Anthony Richardson's cheeks. I don't know how Mac Jones has a full bar here. Oh, no longer gets tackled by Anthony Richardson. Flipping him down. Oh, nice recovery from Bryce. Very agile. He is the shortest of the bunch here and you're gonna feel it. Oh, spine breaker. He's just pressing down even more. <laughs> Kitty Pickett, he's got the hard hat on. You know, that's just because Steelers, I don't know. Had to give everybody something a little extra and silly. Kitty Pickett with his hard hat going in strong. Oh, he kicks the man on who's already down. <laughs> and Anthony Richardson does the same thing. Kenny Pickett's already in trouble. No way! Kenny Pickett just seconds in the ring. Karma hit you quick, kicking the man down and got yourself exiled. Mac Jones with a sick elimination. He looks like an angry businessman in that suit. <laughs> Anthony Richardson knocks Bryce Young out cold for a second. He's getting a bear hug from behind. Oh, three-way. Three-way bunk clapping their heads together. Mac Jones going for another elimination here. He's lining it up. Oh my, that was a violent punch. Mac Jones looking pretty strong out here, actually. Oh, Daniel Jones. What the heck? Is that an inflatable tube, man? <laughs> That's so random. What the heck? I completely forgot about that. All right, this has got to be the goofiest entrance we've seen so far. Inflatable flailing tube men. Oh, this is perfect. He's really relishing in this. He's really got the used car salesman look right here. 
My goodness. One white businessman is now being stared down by another one. He looks like a football coach for high school or something. And, oh, never mind. Now he, he looks like a gymnast with these kind of moves. Who knew Daniel Jones had that in him? Somebody please check on Anthony Richardson, though. He has been down there for a while. Oh my gosh, I bet he wish he stayed down because he is looking like this could be the end for him. Yep, gets punched over the edge. Now it's khakis versus dress suit. Oh, oh a kick flip. He didn't even have a skateboard to do it. And Daniel Jones asserts authority over the ring. He's the only one remaining in here until the next guy enters. What a strong showing from Daniel Jones right there. It's the tucked in polo that really did it for him, right? <laughs> Hyping up the crowd with the moves. Nah. <laughs> I can tell right as this music hits, I know who this is going to be. The Italian Stallion, Jimmy Garoppolo. The deep V on his shirt. Few buttons down. Looking as handsome as ever. Your luck might be running out, though. The Italian Stallion enters the ring. He's looking way more suave than you are. Oh? No way. Oh, that he was not eliminated on that one. Just bouncing off the rope. <laughs> he says it's casual Friday. No more of these fancy looks. You keep your button-ups. Oh. A lot of elbows to the chest. The penny loafers are giving him some extra speed. Quieting down the crowd. Bad move. You should focus on the fight you're in right now. Walloped. We can really focus on the action when it's 1v1. Oh, a knee to the stomach. Jimmy is getting a hurting here. Daniel Jones is punching him like crazy. But he's able to counter. Spit flying. He's got the kneecap. Remember, there's no submission eliminations in this, Jimmy. You gotta throw him over the edge. <laughs> oh, going with the booty blast. And fling around. <laughs> I like the sheesh at the start of that for Derek Carr. He's kind of getting booed a little bit. And I do like that the shirt is tied around his waist. It gives him an extra edgy look. He says, enough of your fancy outfits, guys. We gotta be even more casual. Oh, that was insane. Ooh, heel kick to the face. Oh, and he gives a one to Daniel Jones as well. Showing off a karate move before he gives Daniel even more business. Flinging him in the air with a punch. This is fun entertainment. Oh, he loves kicking people. He's going back to Jimmy. Oh, but Jimmy's not taking that one easily. Throw him in the corner. Ooh, blocks the kick. What's Derek going to do with this opportunity? Punches with the little groan before he punches him. You can definitely tell he has more energy than those two. Jimmy's in trouble here. Ooh, almost got the headbutt. That would have eliminated him. Jimmy's able to hang in there, avoiding elimination. No, he's got himself in trouble again. Yep, yep, he's out of here. Dang, tough luck for Jimmy. Oh, Jared Goff. It seems to be he's cosplaying as Ken from Barbie. You know, he does kind of look like Ryan Gosling a little bit, but we do need to tell him he can't bring that little stick with him into the ring. You are enough, Jared, but yes, you can't bring weapons into this fight. He's got the flip-flops on, ready to kick people. His job is not beach in this match. His job is to kick butt. Oh, teamwork. They said enough Daniel Jones here. Get out of here. Ooh, and the roundhouse kick. The teamwork ends there swiftly. Jared Goff has already depleted his stamina bar. Derek Carr has the power position. Going off the rope. Oh, my goodness. Oh, able to jump around it. Punch to the nuts. <laughs> the crowd is booing. Going for the submission once again, guys. That does not help you win here. There is no tap outs. Oh, Jared's in trouble, but he's able to get back in here. <laughs> Matthew Stafford. You know what? I'll be honest. I don't know why I put the ram horns on his head, and I definitely don't know why I put the little pants at the bottom. I guess they're supposed to be like a cheetah print, so I guess that's thrown back to his roots in the lion's days. It's a stretch, okay? Wrestling attire is supposed to be over the top and silly, and Matt Stafford coming in with a punch. No way. Oh, I thought Stafford was about to get thrown out really quickly. The kicks have been quite effective for Derek Carr. Oh, trying to snap the... Jared Goff is just witnessing this blast on the back right there. <laughs> he, he comes in and is met with a kick to the face. Stafford's going to take a break after that one. Oh, no. Jared Goff, he does it again. Holding on, able to get back in here. Oh, my goodness. How in the world? Oh, my. He took a punch to the face on the edge, and he's still in here. Incredible saves for Jared Goff. He's got a finisher saved up. Can he use it? Ooh, he slams down Matt Stafford. That'll put him out of the count for a while. Oh, what a kick from Jared. 
He continues to be hit in dangerous positions, but he's still holding on. <laughs> I forgot I made it Deshaun Watson inmate four. Public enemy number one. He's got the two towels, actually. One around his neck, one in his hand. Because he's a, a hands-on kind of guy. And Derek Carr said enough of Deshaun Watson right as he walked in. This battle between Derek and Jared has been a fun one to watch so far. Oh my god, kicked him so many times, he got Jared Goff on the ground. Oh, and Deshaun finally gets Jared Goff out of here. After such hard-fought battles for Jared, so many close calls, his day ends here. <laughs> Kirk Cousins in the iconic chains from that picture last year. He does have the generic face though, so he looks a lot like Joe Burrow's model. But this one is way more intimidating. <laughs> Oh, Stafford's got him in the air. I don't think he's going to the corner, though. He's just shoulder pressing him and drops him. Kirk Cousins in here going straight for Deshaun, but he changes targets. Goes back to Deshaun. <laughs> he was trying to keep an eye on Stafford. Took his eye off for one second and got absolutely walloped. A roundhouse kick from Derek. So many things are happening at once. It's fun to watch. Oh, what an interesting move from Deshaun right there. Is this the end of Stafford? He gets kicked in the face. Oh my goodness. What a sick elimination from Derek Carr on Matthew Stafford. Gino, very bright green outfit here. Gene Smith. <laughs> Gene Smith, yeah, for, they just don't fill out the names. So it's always funny to hear what the announcers has to say. Yeah, go get him, Gino. Happy he turned his career around. Let's see if he can show out in the ring. Seems like the talent keeps getting stronger and stronger as we go. Gets harder and harder to stay in the ring. Oh my gosh, is he gonna eliminate Gino right as he walks in? Nope, Gino's able to stay in, unless he kicks him out somehow. Oh, violent kick to the nuts. Gino turning it around on Derek. Throws his head on the corner. I really like Derek Carr's fighting style. He almost looks like a mixed martial artist or something. <laughs> Kirk's going crazy. He's officially lost it, and now he's just going for blood. <laughs> Russell Wilson with the chef hat and all the chef gear. Do we let him cook? He's getting completely booed by the crowd. They are saying he's washed. He's a, don't you say that on me. Just you guys wait. I'm gonna whip up a dish that everybody's gonna like to eat. Y'all gonna learn today. But Chef Rush is gonna step in and take the opportunity of a hurt Geno Smith here. He's like, give me back my team. The two Seattle quarterbacks. Five QBs in at once. Ooh, jumping punch from Derek. Gino is kind of just waiting for his opportunity. And now everybody rests. I don't think Gino's helping Kirk stretch, but he turns it around and he gets punched. Oh, Russell Wilson finally gets rid of Derek Carr, who was in there for quite a while. It's tough to stay in this ring. So much talent. Oh my, Deshaun might be dead after that kick and the crowd goes wild. But while I was watching that, Kirk slams Gino down. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know why I gave Kyler a little diaper. I guess it's because he's shorter than basically everybody else. I don't know. It's stupid and silly. It doesn't look anything like him either. Just go with it. When Kyler enters, he enters a crazy matchup here. Kirk is on the edge, holding on for dear life, able to punch his way back in. And Kyler's coming in with the kicks. He is significantly smaller than everybody else in the ring. He's not even strong enough to pick up Deshaun Watson here. I'm like that guy with that sign back there saying he can't see. What? Exactly. That is what I'm constantly asking. So many things going on, but it is entertaining to watch. Kicks to the face. People slamming down. Kirk at the edge. But Russell Wilson distracted him, so Kirk's back in. Not so long, though. Kyler Murray eliminates Kirk Cousins. And then he gives Deshaun Watson a huge kick to the face. Ooh, Chef Russ is cooking up something dangerous over there. <laughs> oh, back-to-back -back punches. Oh, teamwork. Slamming down Gino. Oh, we got pink clouds in the air. I know who this is. It's Trevor Lawrence. You know, this look is inspired by an image I saw of him wearing like a women's volleyball outfit. So uh, this is what we got. Did we lean into it a little bit? Perhaps. But the meow bag, it was just too cute to not put on. Deshaun Watson has like no energy left. Yep, yeah, he might be down for a hot minute. Oh my goodness! Russell Wilson is just picking any target. Whoever's in the vicinity, he's gonna fly and punch him. Oh my! What a reversal from Kyler! He said, I've had enough of your cooking. It is bland and tastes bad. Get out of here with that punch. 
one of the sickest eliminations we've seen so far. Russell Wilson is out of here. Oh, missed kick. Deshaun's got a dangerous position here. T-Law stepping in for the first time. Oh, it's a backhand against Kyler Murray. We haven't seen anyone eliminated from this spot yet, and it's not going to happen here. Off the rope. <laughs> Deshaun goes down again. Oh, Dak Prescott in the full cowboy outfit, matching it with the cowboy music as well. Another high kick. It's so funny to see Kyler kick so high. Deshaun's at the end. No one's there to kick him off, though. Kyler steps in to kind of like save him almost. I don't think that was intentional. He just likes to kick people. And he gets himself kicked over. Man, you go and help Deshaun and it immediately bites you in the back. Kyler Murray had some sick eliminations and now he gets himself eliminated. Deshaun's got to be close to the, the ending here. He gets so lucky. Everyone keeps stepping in to save him unintentionally, of course. Trevor Lawrence getting thrown against the edge. Oh, threw him up in the air and punched him in the face. Now, do you think the cowboy boots are hurting or helping Dak Prescott here? You know, you can use the spurs against your opponents. Dak's <laughs> pumping his chest, getting a reaction from the crowd, but he's met with a kick to the face from Deshaun. Josh Allen, and he's got a chair for some reason. I guess it's because the Bills Mafia loves to jump on tables and stuff, and he can't carry that in there. He's on the cover of that, and I expect him to go deep in this battle. You know, uh, Josh, you can't bring that chair into the ring. That's illegal in this mode. And before Josh can enter the ring, Deshaun turns the tables on Dak, throwing him out of the ring. Josh Allen flexing, but he should be focusing on the fight. Ooh, able to dodge it. He said enough. He's got Deshaun on the edge. Can he fling him over? No. Oh, but Trevor Lawrence in the background, able to throw out Geno Smith. But Josh Allen finally getting Deshaun out of here. The guy who skated by for so long. Now it's 1v1 for a little bit. Trevor Lawrence versus Josh Allen. This is a good battle here. Ooh, throwing him against the rope seems to be like a strong strategy. What are we doing here, Trevor? I don't know what that was. Josh is just kind of holding him up just to show off for a little bit, showing his strength, waving to the crowd. Oh man, this is back and forth action. Justin Herbert, and he's just going straight to the ring. You know, he's looking pretty beefy for Justin Herbert. This is definitely the wrestling version of them, not the real life one. There's a lot of talent in the ring now. 390 plus overalls. Justin Herbert's gonna take this personally after losing to Trevor Lawrence in the playoffs last year. Or is he? Trevor Lawrence still show- Oh, no wait, he just completely misses his own error, but he's able to turn it around. Josh Allen is there to catch Justin Herbert. Oh, <laughs> he's just kind of taunting him. Getting a reaction from the crowd is Trevor Lawrence waiting for his time to strike. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, what a kick from Josh Allen. He's able to stay in. That was a close call for him. Flexing in the air. Will he take him to the corner or is he going to throw him in the ring? You know, they don't really think things through. They kind of just like go for style points sometimes. But Herbert's going for a lot of punches. Catches one back from Josh Allen. <laughs> he just completely misses. That was funny to see. And Allen throws him to the ground. Lamar Jackson, MVP. I got the Gatorade logo on the sides of the towel. He's got the shades on, glistening purple, big truss. I'm rooting for you, Lamar. Actually, I'm rooting for most of the quarterbacks. I just want to see a good match. Lamar coming in. I mean, there is so much talent here. The double tag team here. Groin to the face and Trevor Lawrence is not happy about that. He's like, take me on a date first, Josh. Oh, -hoo. Oh my gosh, Lamar is already in a dangerous spot. Getting picked up by Josh Allen. Is this the end for Lamar? Oh my goodness, Lamar. Not even lasting that long in the ring. Got in an unlucky spot against Josh Allen. Josh Allen bring Justin Herbert over to the corner like I take my trash out on Sunday mornings. But Trevor Lawrence steps in to save him. And Josh Allen is taking a rest while they fight each other. Smart strategy. Gonna need all the energy you can get. Jalen Hurts. Cajun did they say Jajan H? And I got him with the wings on because, you know, the Eagles. He's going to be soaring in there. <laughs> Jalen Hurts with a kick to the groin, and then he gets blindside tackled by Trevor Lawrence. You can see the size disadvantage is definitely hurting Jalen a little bit, but he is talented. Let's see if he can use that ability. Oh, disrupting it. Going off the edge. I don't know who he's trying to target with that. Trying to do like a gymnastics move. Trevor Lawrence on the edge, but Jalen misses the punch. He hits him with that one, though. And Trevor is able to fight his way back into the ring. Oof. He's got Josh Allen with no health over there, but nobody is targeting him. He's just taking a rest. 
Josh Allen slowly recovering. Jalen Hurts targets him though, but it's reversed. He is just a powerhouse. A big man who definitely helps in wrestling. Oh, everyone keeps reversing each other. They got them both on it. They don't take him to the edge though. They just throw him down. Oh, acrobatic move from Jalen Hurts. Oh, here comes the old man, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and he's got explosions behind him. I love it. You know, I created this entire lineup of guys before week one of the NFL. So uh, it is depressing that his ankles and shambles, but he's ready to fight here in this ring today. You know, I could see any one of these guys go in the distance. I'm kind of glad they all came in late. It's going to make this finish even more satisfying. The old man is already gasping for air over there. Oh, kick to the nuts. Oh my goodness, Josh Allen is just crawling for dear life over there. He's been in this ring for so long. Aaron Rodgers, is he going to do something here or is he just going to keep feeling up Jalen Hurts? Should we censor this? Oh, you got Josh Allen twisted up there. Oh, Joe Burrow completely dripped out. Got the fur coat. He's got the shades on too. The chain around the neck. I know exactly what picture this is from in real life. Walking tall. Sneaky, sneaky one right here. I can see him going all the way. Not too many guys left to come in. So a big opportunity for everybody here in this ring. Six quarterbacks in at once. It's pure chaos, but most of them are taking a nap. Josh Allen is up looking a little dazed. He goes for a man down already. He targets the newcomer, Joey B, throwing him to the corner. He's fighting off Trevor Lawrence. Uh-oh, Trevor Lawrence has him in a dangerous spot, taking him to the corner, able to fight back. And while I was watching that, Aaron Rodgers eliminates Jalen Hurts by shoving him out of the ring with his foot. That darkness retreat has really got him in serious wrestling form. But Joey B's got Justin Herbert in a chokehold. You know, if you die in the ring, as long as you're still in the ring, you can still win. You just have to be thrown out. But he's able to reverse it. Oh, Josh Allen flinging the old man backwards. Justin Fields kind of getting booed a little bit. He's definitely one of the fastest players out there. Doing like a little Kamehameha blast. Didn't know I had that in there. I like the bomber jacket too. Looks very clean. Get in the ring, Justin. Show him what you got. Justin Fields with a huge opportunity coming in here. But it's just a few guys left. I mean, a lot of these guys are formidable. I don't know who's going to win this thing. Josh Allen has already built up two finishers that he has yet to use. Oh, Trevor Lawrence getting thrown against the rope. What the? Justin Fields on top of Justin Herbert. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is so much happening. I don't even know where to look. How do you even commentate this? You just sit here and go, ooh, ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my strategy would be what Joey B's doing. Just sit on the corner. Justin Fields in the air. Can Josh Allen get rid of him? A lot of flips. Now he keeps him in the ring. Bold strategy, Josh. Instead of going for the elimination. Oh, wait, but he might get him here. Just got to hit him. Yep, now he takes care of him. Josh Allen, another elimination for him. Ooh, two with the explosions. I like the huge lay around him. Very much inspired by the Samoan roots. Tua comes in with some great opportunity. Same draft class, Tua versus Herbert. Who's going to be the victor of these two? He switches his target to Josh Allen, though. Oh, Tua. This would be an insane upset if he's able to get Josh Allen out of here. He flips him over. And Josh Allen has been defeated by Tua Tagovailoa. Does that mean he's going to win the division in real life? That would be insane. Joe Burrow in trouble. Is Justin Herbert going to get him out of here? No, he's not. This has been pure chaos. Long way to go, Aaron. You got to choose a spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we just saw like three misses in a row. Everyone's jumping around, wasting their energy on misses. Tua has already depleted his energy bar. I don't know how. Oh, Brock Purdy. Brock P. I like how we don't finish the name. It's just Brock P. I hope he didn't. <laughs> now we're talking. That guy's got money on Brock. He's ready to get in there. And Brock Purdy enters. He is the last one in the ring. So your victor is already standing here in the ring. It's just, who's it going to be? Tua slams Trevor into the wall. Herbert's got Aaron Rodgers at the top of the corner. I can feel the intensity in the air. Off the rope. Oh, misses. A lot of kicks are being kicked around. The thing is, they keep distracting each other from eliminating some of these guys. Tua. Oh, he gets eliminated. There it is. The Jets officially going to be my pick to win the division. Oh, and he takes out Justin Herbert as well. Aaron Rodgers is on a warpath here. He got two eliminations in just a few seconds. This is insane to watch. Just four quarterbacks remain, and Joey B gets completely flipped after that punch. Aaron Rodgers, the only one standing right here. Trevor Lawrence is weak. 
He has no bar left. Brock Purdy is the healthiest in terms of energy. They're fighting 1v1. Throws Aaron into the corner. Is he strong enough to lift him up? Yes, he is. Joey B doesn't come to help him. Aaron Rodgers is in trouble. But he's able to punch his way back in. The old man still got some steam left. Fighting back, Joey B switches targets. There goes Brock Purdy, stamina bar. Now Joey B's in the power position. And he kicks Aaron down. Trevor's regaining some energy though. Flinging Joey B down. Everyone who I think has the power, it gets turned around. Joey B taking Brock Purdy to the corner and he's out of here. Joey B going for, oh, a quick spinning kick. Completely deceiving Aaron with that move. Ooh, jump kick. Trevor Lawrence is very tired here. What well, Aaron is trying to show off and he's getting a bunch of punches from Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, oh, a big jump. Stomps him from the top rope. That's the highest jump we've seen so far. I mean, they, all these guys are tired. It's all about grit at this point. Who wants it the most? Ooh, Trevor Lawrence is gonna need a breather after that one. 1v1 for a little bit. Slam down. Uh-oh, he's going for the arm break. Ah, that one always looks the most painful. And then another knee. Ooh, Trevor gets the upper hand. And that will put Aaron Rodgers in a dangerous spot. He switches to Joey B though. This has been an insane fight. My goodness, I don't know who's gonna win here. It could be any one of these three. They're all up and standing now though. Who's gonna do it? He's going for the slam down. Joe Burrow goes for the punch. Taking Aaron Rodgers to the corner. This is a dangerous spot for him. Flipping him up. Could this be the end of Aaron? He's able to stay in, but he's not safe yet. He's got the foot on him. He fights his way back in. Oh my goodness. But now Joe Burrow's in the dangerous spot, but Aaron kind of saves him by going after Trevor Lawrence. And now he's in a dangerous spot, flipping him over. Could this be the end of Trevor Lawrence? No, it's not. Everyone is so resilient here, unless he kicks him out. Oh my goodness. Joe Burrow versus Aaron Rodgers, the final two standing. Who's it gonna be? Off the rope, he misses. Completely dodged by Aaron Rodgers. Oh, the reversal by Joe Burrow. He's built up two finishers. Is he gonna use one? Aaron has no energy, but he's still hanging on there. Kick to the groin, punches. Oh my goodness. Could the old man do it? He's got him on the corner of the rope. Joe's in trouble. He flings him out. And that's it. Aaron Rodgers is victorious. What a finish there. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. That was some intense fighting. It was all about grit. That darkness retreat definitely paid off for the old man. Flurry of punches there at the end. Here's your winner, Aaron Wow. There it is, everybody. Book it. Jets are winning the Super Bowl this year. Incredible showing. I mean, there were so many times Aaron Rodgers was about to be thrown out of the ring, but he fought his way back in. That was so much fun for me to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys want to see some more crazy random experiments and stuff, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. But as for me, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Casey Knox, Ed Dunning, Rosalie Jarecki, and Jeff Coleman.